guys, it's Tilly and today I'm going to be writing some of my Goodreads reviews and you guys are going to watch me write them. I'm not very good at actually writing reviews. I find that I tend to ramble and not actually get my words across very well. Um, I'm also terrible at using Goodreads, so when I say you're going to help me write my Goodreads review, it's going to be all the books that I just leave as my currently reading that I've actually finished reading and just haven't got around to writing reviews for, or even rating. I don't really use Goodreads very often because I have a bit of a love-hate relationship with it. I stopped using Goodreads for a while because I found that it was like almost competition driven to see how many books you could read and seeing how many of my friends read and just couldn't stop comparing myself to not reading enough basically. And I found that Goodreads just really didn't help me in that place. So I stopped using it which means that I haven't been able to track my books very accurately but it also means that like I don't really do too much with it. I will update my books and add my reviews now but I'm not very on top of everything else. So there's currently five books sitting on that pile. The first one that we've got is Playing Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. I did talk about all these books briefly in my June wrap up um, and you guys can watch that video on my channel. But for now, I want to go a bit more in depth into these books and write my honest reviews. So the first one that I've got is Playing Bad Heroines. I would be leaning towards rating this one two and a half stars out of five, which means I'm going to round it down to two stars. Um, I like to write my reviews in like a little bit of a compliment sandwich, but at the same time, I don't really know how they're going to come out when I start writing about them. There were things that I liked about this book, um, like the characters. I really enjoy the characters, but I found that the plot was very slow in parts and that the writing style just did not work for me. So I guess I'll try to word that down correctly. Um, Plain Bad Heroines had so much potential to be a book I would fall in love with. I was going to originally screen record this as well as having me on the camera, however I make so many spelling mistakes and I'm just going to read it out loud anyway that I thought I wouldn't do that. If I do this again maybe I'll try and do a comparison video and see what you guys prefer, but I'm a little embarrassed with how bad I type. So that kind of sets down my basis of what I'm going to be talking about mostly in this book um, and then I kind of dive a little bit deeper into those. So I'm going to start off with the bad and then end on the good so it's a bit of a feel good ending. Um, so it fell short in the pace of the book and also the writing style. So the book itself is already really big. My wrists were hurt in reading this book. What is the name of the person who speaks? The narrator. Oh, why is it so hard to remember character names? Harper. Merit and Audrey. So let's just fix all my spelling mistakes first. I use Grammarly which really helps because I can just hover over things and it's fixed miraculously. Alright so my review for Playing Bad Heroines. Um, Playing Bad Heroines had so much potential to be a book I would fall in love with however it fell short in the pace of the book and also the writing style. Not to say I didn't enjoy it as I loved a lot of the characters and the parallels in this book. I always put like a little a little clip of what my review is and then I dive a bit deeper into it. So the book is already a big book in brackets my wrists were hurting from reading this book seriously it, it's just one of those like big trade copies that's big and heavy as well. I don't even know how many pages it was but well, over 600 pages so it's not the biggest book I've ever read but it's probably the biggest I've read in a very long time. And unfortunately there were parts of this book that were wholly unnecessary there were sections that I didn't find were relevant to the story and that just felt like a filler. I also wasn't a fan of the writing style, I couldn't connect with the narrator and the tone she sets felt unnatural for the story. I can see what the author was going for but it fell flat for me. However, I have noticed some people have loved this aspect and that's fair. I really hate to be negative, if you can't tell. Um, one thing that I did love was some of the fantastic characters. I also kind of wish there was an entire story on Flo and Clara, as from the small info we got about them, I really liked it. As for the main main characters, Harper, Merritt and Audrey were quite an ensemble and they all stood out from one another. I like the depth of these characters and that there was a chance to learn a lot about them individually and then seeing them interact with one another. Overall this book had some positives and some negatives and I would be interested in reading something else from this author as there was a lot of potential for me as a reader. And that is my first review done. I rated it 2 stars out of 5 and I'm posting it to my Goodreads. I am doing something. Kill, kill, kill. Alright, let's go back. And the next one that I'm going to be redoing my review on is going to be 
The Midnight Library. So the Midnight Library I gave 4 out of 5 stars to. I actually really enjoyed this one and I think it was a really quick read. Um, plus it also has some good emotions involved in it. Finish with this book. It's only 300 pages long so it's not too bad. Um, it's very popular as well. So 4 stars out of 5. So I'm going to make this a quick review because I don't really have too much to say about it. Um, the Midnight Library was a quick emotional read that I thoroughly enjoyed. My biggest struggle is when Grammarly can't even fix one of my spelling mistakes and I have to try to figure out how it's actually spelled. Very, very tiring. So I've opted to go for a very short review on this one and kind of just put a bit of, of my humor into it. So The Midnight Library was a quick emotional read that I thoroughly enjoyed. I really enjoyed, can't do that. I really liked, I really loved. I really loved the concept of this book and the main character now. If I, if I had to put myself why I reread it back because I make so many mistakes. If I put myself into her shoes, I don't know what I would have done. Maybe find a life with a lot of animals and books. A fun, unique read that was very enjoyable with some good lessons. That is The Midnight Library. Post Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. I would probably rate this one a three out of five stars. Two and a half, I'm gonna round it up to three because I enjoyed it. Um, Circus of Wonders. Circus of Wonders is a book I wish I could say was wonderful, but it was a bit of a seesaw, good and bad at times. For some reason I really like any book set in a circus setting. Now that I've actually gotten to my third review, I don't think I actually have a layout for my reviews because they've all been completely different. I've said I love books themed around circuses, I don't know, maybe it's the effects of watching The Greatest Showman, but if there's a circus, I'm totally down for it. And that's true. One of the aspects that I liked most about this book was the circus itself. Um, I do wish that the story revolved more around the characters and the performances, but I understand it's not the story that was to be told, but it would have been really cool if it was. I felt that the start of this book and the end of it are very, very strong, but the middle of the book just wasn't as good. It fell very flat in comparison. It made it a little unlikable. The biggest redeeming quality for this book was actually the ending. Um, which is the only reason why I'm probably giving it three stars out of the five. Realistically, it'd probably be around about a two, one and a half star rating. But the ending, I thought was really well done. Alrighty, so I have left that one quite short as well. Um, the review is now posted. Well, the next book that I've got is Piranesi by Susanna Clark. I have no idea how I'm going to review this book, purely because this book itself was just so different. Um, I don't really know how I could review it very accurately. I'd probably give it a 4 out of 5 star rating. I did really enjoy the ending of it and even though I had no idea what was going on half the time, I still could not put the book down. What a wonderfully weird book. I felt like I locked myself onto a roller coaster with this book and I had no idea what direction it was going in, um, but it was a ride that I thoroughly enjoyed. Um, so I left this one really short as well. I don't really have too much to say about the book. I really enjoyed it, but at the same time, I don't really know how to say too much without doing spoilers. Um, so I've just kind of said it's a wonderfully weird book. I really enjoyed it. I liked the ride of this crazy roller coaster. That Piranesi as a character was fantastic. I loved his mannerisms, the way that he saw the house, the way that he spoke, his emotions and his reactions to things were so sweet. Um, and that I enjoyed every step of this book. However, the ending hit me with this wall of emotion that I wasn't expecting. Okay, last one that I've got is The Ones Were Meant to Find by Joan He. And I still only just finished this book last night, so I don't really know exactly how I'm feeling about it. I think this is going to be a bit of a jumbled review. I don't really know how I feel about this book. It literally took me like half the book to actually enjoy it. I even passed up playing solitaire with my boyfriend to finish this book. So it's pretty impressive. It was a deck of cards that were based around cats as well. So it's a big thing. The characters. I can't say that I loved any of them. I can't say that I loved or had a huge connection with any of them, but I can applaud that they were well written. The main character, one of one of the sisters, Kay, I found she was really well written and I probably liked her the most. Um, I'm going to leave this review a little unfinished. I still don't really understand my thoughts on this book because there's aspects I enjoyed and some that I didn't. And I think if I think about it more, it'll probably start outweighing the good. Um, and I don't really want to do that for now. 
So I'm just going to leave my review with what I've already written and then at the end just kind of say I'm still trying to flush out how I'm feeling about this book. So so posting that one and that is my last review to be done, which is exciting. I'm back on top of all my Goodreads reviews and that means that I am now finished with this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I'm hoping that my editing will make this video a bit better because it didn't feel as fun as I was kind of hoping it would be, especially as I'm just writing really shit reviews for books that were kind of average. Um, if you guys like this though, leave a comment down below and I'll try and do it again and maybe next time I'll screen record as well so you guys can see how many spelling mistakes I make. But thank you guys for watching and hopefully um, you guys have a lovely bookish day. Bye!